Hi and welcome to a brand new tutorial about things that maybe you don't know about and just the tips and tricks of stuff you can do in Logic. Now they don't teach this in certain schools. Now I'm not sure about all schools but I was talking to a, a kid I know who's in a really big famous school that's based in London and Paris and maybe elsewhere I'm not too sure about it. That's uh, I won't give any names away uh, but it's named after a road and it had something to do with the Beatles. But I'm not going to give any clues about what school it was. But anyway, I told him about this thing and it, he said that they didn't teach him this. They didn't. He didn't know about this function, which exists in Pro Tools. But uh, I didn't know until recently by accident that you could do it in Logic as well. So I'm going to share this with you. And um, basically it's using the uh, marquee tool to, to select regions with uh, the space and repeating that all as one block uh, maybe you know about this but I didn't and he wasn't taught this in school so uh, you need to have your either your marquee tool activated or uh, as I've shown before in a, another tutorial about how to customize the the tools uh, so you've got like tools on each corner I'll show you this in a minute uh, how that works so anyway let's jump straight into this now I've got my custom tools here so if I place this here the cursor here or here that will then select the tools differently according to where I place the cursor okay and so if we select here the actual space next to it and go command R that will repeat with the space if I select that and I go command R then that repeats the whole two bars there with the space. Now if I select the regions, it just sticks it straight on the end. If I select just the regions, then, then it will just repeat it after the last region. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like, subscribe, leave some comments, and I'll be back soon.